continuity, polarity, and insulation resistance. The links to continuity and polarity are in the description below. Now we're doing an insulation resistance test. Set your meter to 500 volts in this case. 500 volts megohms. The lowest this meter will read is zero. You can watch the scale across the top or watch the digits. We're in the megohm range now, millions of ohms. Does our meter work? Turn the meter on, or lock the meter so it runs all the time. Turn it on. We've just proven it's, it's putting out 520 volts at the moment. Join the probes at the moment, there's insulation there. It's overload, over limit, it's right off the top. There's our scale there, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 million ohms, a huge amount of resistance with air. If I join the probes together, I expect it to be much, much lower. Give it time to settle down. 0 0.003 megohms. So that's what a closed circuit looks like. Right, we're expecting now, we've tested continuity and polarity. We know these cables make it all the way through and that they're in the right place. In one end, out the other, and the colors stay the same the whole way. Now we're gonna test insulation resistance. So we're making sure that they are not touching each other or getting very close to touching each other. So red face to earth. Nine hundred and fifteen million ohms, just falling slightly. Earth to neutral, one thousand two hundred and some millions of meg, millions of ohms, meg ohms, and face to neutral, more than a thousand million ohms. Now, the pass is one megohm in this case. It's certainly well above one megohm.